So I got a lot of stuff all over the deck. I've got all my water tanks full up and I'm heading up the pass to find that portage. So I'm down, down about here, down about where that R is in rock. I'm heading up on this long skinny point, which is that point right there. It'll be on the far side, which will take me into Hedda, Hedda Inlet, all the way up past Hedda Point, Deer Bay, all the way up Sweetser Passage to Portage Bay, to the portage I want to do to get across to the west arm. If I can do this portage, I can make it a self-contained trip. If for some reason I can't do the portage, the fallback plan is to fall back to Heidelberg and then somehow get a ride to the ferry. Which... Well, it's getting close to noon. And I'm hungry again. I just... I ate breakfast about 4.30. I had a big breakfast. I had quesadillas. I had porridge. I had coffee. And then I ate a bunch of salmon at 10 o'clock. And I've been snacking on nuts. And I'm hungry again. I think it's, uh, I've just been eating the vegetables off the back deck. I just have a renewed appetite. Yeah, now I'm just, all I think about is food and eating and eating and all my vegetables back there in the basket. So I'm gonna head to the beach and I'm gonna eat. Water is beautiful, super clear. It's cold, of course, but. Just see down 15, 20 feet. And unfortunately, the first raindrops are just starting to drop. Drip, drip, drip. So my sunny morning is over. Wow, this is a pretty spectacular beach. It's just, just sculpted by storms. rocks different color all mixed together well here's my fresh local meal at the Alaska cafe a picturesque little cove got my smoked sockeye salmon on a bed of quinoa with fresh parsley and fresh chives, and a little side salad of lettuce. Oh, couldn't ask for much more. A cold beer, that's what I'd ask for, if I could ask for one thing right now. But, can't ask for a better view. Look at this. Popped out of the water just now. A herring, perfect little herring. Great bait. If I see some fish rising, I'll use this guy for bait. The rain and cloudy weather is back again. My magic evening of sleeping without a fly on the tent. Wandering around, looking for water, bathing, drying in the sunshine. It's all done. Back to normal. It's raining pretty good up there. It's Heidelberg up that channel. I'm going up this this way to Portage Bay. I put some salmon gear down. I'm just gonna see if I can catch another fish. Cause I'm a fisherman. That's why. This looks like a really nice beach. I'm gonna pull in for a while and maybe get my bearings, maybe take a snooze, I don't know. Hanging out under the cedar tree on a drizzly day. It's not terrible out there, it's just not like yesterday, I guess. Oh, I got coffee going, snacks. Been snacking all day, man. My appetite's back with a vengeance. There should be Heidelberg, like up that channel. 
thought I could almost pick up a weak cell signal, but it didn't hold. It's not going to get any drier. It's not going to be any fun to set up a tent in the rain tonight. So, might as well paddle until it gets too dark to see. My plan worked. I slept through the miserable weather. Ah, it's just a little drippy for a little while. It's Alaska. Eh? Little snooze on the beach, cup of coffee later, and I'm back out on the water. It's a tug. First tug I've seen on this trip. Looks like he's hauling some work barge or something. He's coming down from the area I want to go to. I know they're putting up a, a power line up there by Deer Cove, about 15 miles north of me. Maybe he was working there. But I'm heading up that way. Not bad weather. Not bad for Alaska. It's not raining. Got a tailwind. Put some miles in this afternoon. All right, my day wouldn't be complete without seeing another bear. And this guy is pretty nice. Looks to be at least 2, 250. And just out there on the beach. Yeah, it might be a male. Just flipping rocks. Look at that coat is just beautiful, shiny. Hope that's showing up on the video. Probably within 60 yards and he hasn't seen me yet. Tasty sea creatures, just like me. I'm gonna back off. I'll let this bear be a bear. Well, that was cool. Another bear doing the bear thing. Little shellfish on the beach in the afternoon. Foraging for food. And totally undisturbed about my presence. Knew I was there. Kept on doing what it does. It's exactly what I want a bear to do. Got a little weather moving in on me. Coming down, a little squall. White caps out there. And it's coming from the exact right direction. Right on my tail. So it's gonna push me right up the channel I wanna go. I'm gonna put down some mileage. Already doing good time. This should just help it a little more. Sail right up there. Yep, here she comes. That is a solid wall of rain. But I'm out here in the middle of the channel and I'm gonna ride it. You see the wind and the waves picking up. Typical squall. I'm gonna head around that point. Should be a downwind ride. much staying in front of it. Probably make it about seven knots or so.
All right. The storm kind of broke up behind me. It didn't really produce a whole lot of wind, maybe 15 to 20 knots. Right on my tail, perfect surfing. Downwind run, I covered a lot of miles, probably averaging about seven knots there for a while. But uh, it's kind of moved off that direction, and I'm heading that direction. Just fine, I got the wind and I didn't get much of the rain, so didn't get that down my neck. Got some interesting weather going on over here on the mountain. It's like a, a roll cloud sweeping around that mountain right there. That's a big forest. Yes. Fantastic Alaska stuff. Yes. Big country, big weather. I hope it clears out tonight. Find a nice dry place to camp. Can't count on that, but I can hope for it. The squalls dropped off. Just left me with a light misty rain. And a beautiful shoreline to paddle along. Just little droplets on the lens. Tide's starting to come in now. It's pretty much slacked out. So I'm just gonna keep pushing along. This is one of those shorelines that you just no place to land. So it's miles up there to uh, the next cove. I think it's called Deer Cove or Bear Cove or something. It's on the left. I saw it on the map, but it's gonna be, gonna be another couple hours up there, but I've got nothing else to do. If I go to shore, I just sit there in the rain. Good traveling weather. Well, the rain continues. It's about seven o'clock at night. And I'm actually all the way up here at Deer Bay. So I could continue around another five, six, seven miles to the top of Portage Bay with the tide. Because high tide's going to be about midnight tonight. That would put me in camp at dark, but um, I'm making good time. And I've got some pretty good current behind me. I might just keep riding it and see how far I can push up into Portage Bay. Because when the tide changes, it's going to be working against me all night. So, the highest tide is at night right now. So if I can push all the way up in there, I can start my portage tomorrow morning with any luck. It's going to mean getting there in the dark probably, or pretty close to it. So there's a deer swimming across the sound in front of me. He's obviously a little nervous that I'm here. All right. I don't want to panic him. Right there. Yeah, I don't want to chase him down. He's in a very vulnerable position. I could easily overrun him and take him. He knows that, so no need to spook him anymore. Don't want to change his direction, so I'll back off and let him go. I'm heading up through that passage right there anyway. Well, it looks like there's a ramp right there that uh, vehicles use to pull boats out. And the uh, logging road runs right along the water's edge, maybe up, I don't know, 50 feet away. But I'm gonna head down in there. It's supposed to be real shallow. See how far it goes. 
But if the logging road continues along there, then maybe that becomes the portage route. Right, it's low light conditions, but I'm absolutely sailing up this thing. Got a strong incoming tide. Like I said, the strongest tide will be tonight, a little after midnight. You can see the water swirling. It's flowing at least three, four knots coming in here. So I'm just, I'm several miles from the end of it and I'm just getting pushed along doing seven, eight knots easily when I paddle. Three knots when I just hold still. But this is a good sign. I'll keep working it as far up as I can until the tide peaks out. I don't know if any of this is gonna turn out. It's just a wet world out here. But that's the shoreline and then there's a road cut up there. Maybe Oh, it's got to be a couple hundred yards up the slope, but I think I'm still a mile or two back in that corner before I hit the end of my water route. And I'm approaching dark. I'm also approaching max high tide, so good timing. Just got to push it all the way up there and then uh, find a dry place to sleep for a few hours before I check it out tomorrow. It's only a few feet deep back here, so in the morning all this is going to be dry when the tide goes out. It's just wet right now. It's 9.40 at night, and I'm just kind of going by feel now. Probably only have 20-30 minutes of light left. It's just such a dark, drizzly night, but everything's closing in. It's really wet. And I'm just assuming that the portage is going to start where the water ends, and I'm just trying to push toward the end of the water. Good news is it's pretty clear out here. Nothing's showing up well, but they're clear cut over to the right of me and to the left. So with any luck, um, it'll be a clear route all the way through as far as no trees. And the forest looks pretty thin ahead of me. I'll poke up to the head of the bay here. It's just another hundred yards. It looks like I run out of water. Well, as luck would have it, here I am about 50 feet from standing on dry land and there's two bears. There's one right there. And it's gonna show out very well. It's so dark. And they look like cubs. He's gnawing on grass. It's probably about a 60 pound cub. And there's another one down there. About the same size. I can't land in between two cubs. Mama's in the forest somewhere. I gotta let these things move on. I think that's my passage right there, but it's right between two bears. <laughs> 